There's a huge misunderstanding when it comes to theme songs. People feel like, oh, if the crowd is singing along to his theme song, that means he's over. I'm like, nah, that's not the case. Crowds are really dumb, right? They don't care if you are a heel or a face. If you have a nice theme song, they will sing it, even if they are not supposed to. Crowds are very dumb. Meaning, I remember when um, Becky Lynch was a heel, right? People were still singing her damn theme song, even when she was a heel. Does that mean she was over? No. It's just, dude, people love her theme song. Just because people love your theme song, that don't make you over. Bruh, your theme song is just a part of the package. Your theme song is not supposed to be you. You are supposed to make people like your theme song, not your theme song makes people like you. That's not the case. Your theme song is not supposed to make you, right? Same as The Rock. The Rock always has a different theme song, like every year. With the same verbiage, but with a different tone, a different sounding beat. But the crowd still pops for him. Because he's over. His songs don't make him, he makes the songs. See, people think Seth Rollins is over because the crowd sings his damn theme song. I'm like, no, Seth is over because people like Seth. They like his character. People like his theme song, not because of him. They just like his theme song. Crowds love singing theme songs, even when a guy is not over. Listen, the audience loves singing theme songs, even when you are here or face. Let's talk about Ciampa. There was a point where Ciampa had no theme music, but yet the crowd was still booing him. That means you are over with or without a theme song. That's the point I'm trying to make. When it comes to Adam Cole's law, listen, man, I'm going to keep on saying it. He is nothing more than a theme song. Once that theme song ends, he's boring. There is nothing to him. He's in the category of all he is is a fancy theme song. Same as Jack Perry. Jack Perry is on top of the list of guys where it's like, bro, you are only a theme song at this point. There is nothing special about you. You are a theme song. That's it. Dude, the crowd loves singing Jack Perry's theme song. Does that mean he's over? No. Dude, he is the least responding pillar out of the four. He is, he might be the least popular out of the four pillars. Like I said, do not get brainwashed by his theme song. He ain't shit without that theme song. Just because the crowd sings it, that don't mean he's over. No, his song's over, but he's not over. Let's talk about Baron Corbin. He's on top of the list. Now, I like Corbin, but let's be real here. He had that great theme song. The end of days theme song, that was a great theme song, bruh. But Corbin always had bad heat, right? He always had go away heat. He always had that kind of heat where the crowd don't like him for a different kind of reasons. But that theme song was slapping, <laughs> right? He had, he, had a, he had a great theme song. See what I'm saying? Just because you have a great theme song, that don't mean you over. Baron Corbin, great example. His his song was over, but he was not over, right? His song made him, he didn't make the song. That's what I mean. There's tons of guys, man, where people are getting brainwashed. Like, for example, Becky Lynch. To me, she's all theme song, bro. She's all theme song. If she had a different kind of theme song, I don't think the fans would care about her. They love singing her theme song, which thinks she's over, but not really. Because a theme song 
can really make the crowd like you. But once that theme song goes, the crowd will have a different opinion about you. Now, let's talk about Adam Cole's laws last month in NXT. They actually changed his theme song, remember? And once they did that, he was done. He was boring, man. He got exposed. Once they gave him a new theme song, he was trash. He was boring as hell. He was exposed. That's a prime example. Adam Coleslaw was always all theme song. If people are not saying Adam Cole, baby, what is there for him, right? Because he's boring. All he is is a catchphrase and a fancy theme song. That's why he, he was exposed during his last month in NXT. Now, let's compare that to Triple H. I would say his best theme was actually My Time. That was a great theme song because that theme song fit his character, but he actually built up his character before they gave him that theme song. That's the point. What I mean is Triple H was over without that My Time theme song. He was over before Motorhead. That's what I mean. He made those songs. Those songs didn't make him. His character was already established with the audience to a point where it didn't matter what theme song he had because he was over. Now, how about Keith Lee? Keith Lee is all theme song. Remember when he was caught up to the main roster and they gave him a new theme song? The crowd turned on him. The crowd no longer gave a shit about Keith Lee because of a dumb theme song. See what I'm saying? You see how fickle people are when you don't have a character? That means Keith Lee was all theme song. So you are not gonna cheer Keith on because he has a new theme song that's not to your liking. That means he was never over. Ding, 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 ding. Same as, okay, let's talk about Matt Riddle. See, it don't matter which theme song they give Matt Riddle. He's over. Because he had a character that people liked before they kept changing his theme songs. That means he was special. That means he built up a character before those theme songs. That's why Seth Rollins is over. Not because of his theme song. He's over because of his character. He built that character before that theme song. Facts. So we need to get out of this notion that if you have a great theme song, that means you're over. No, dude, that might be the opposite in terms of, okay, if you are a heel, why is the audience singing your theme song? Maybe you are a bad heel. Maybe you should be a face. See, why do heels have face sounding songs, right? It does no favors to your opponent if you are a heel. That's why Max works. Max has a whack theme song. I hate his theme song, it's trash. But that makes him a very, very good heel. I think Dean Ambrose told Max to his face that Max has a trash theme song, but that works. I feel like heels should have trash theme songs. I feel like that should give them more heat if they have a annoying theme song. I feel like that's the point. So I feel like that works. Like Chris Jericho is like, man, he has a huge ego. It's like, bro, you're not doing your opponent who's a face any favors when the audience is singing your theme song. Like, it makes no sense for Jericho to keep his theme song when fans are singing it in spite of his opponent who's a face. That makes you look more popular than your opponent. That's why I'm like, bro, Jericho should change his theme song. Stop having the audience sing your theme song. It makes no sense. You were a heel. 
crowd is not supposed to sing your theme song. Here's what I mean. Heels should not have great sounding theme songs. Their theme songs should be annoying. I feel like a heels theme song should either annoy you or strike fear in you. Like, for example, Gutha, Varing, Janelel. I feel like his theme song is not a theme song that I would bump, but that's the point. His theme song is not that great where it's like, yeah, that's a great theme song, man, I will bump that. No, that's not the point. His theme song strikes fear in you. That's the point I'm trying to make. His theme song works. That's why I'm like, bro, when it comes to Roman Reigns, I feel like he would have more heat if he kept his S.H.I.E.L.D. theme song because his new theme song sounds very cool but the fact that his song sounds cool it makes people not want to boo him it makes people not want to you know not like him because of that great theme song if your theme song is a hit and you are a heel it's like man it gives you the benefit of the doubt like it gives people that respect factor for you if you have a great theme song that's not good as a heel. I feel like heels should not have a better theme song than a face. I feel like that's not good. But I'm gonna say it again. Your song is not supposed to make you. You are supposed to make your song. I feel like will Seth Rollins be as over without that song? No, I don't think so. See, it, it gives people a illusion that he's mega over because the crowd sings his theme song. No, maybe the crowd likes his theme song regardless who it is. Like I said, I don't think Jack Perry's over. I feel like he's all theme song. Adam Coleslaw, he's all theme song. Keith Lee was exposed on a main roster once they changed his theme song to a generic theme song, right? The crowd turned on him, which means he was always all theme song. But to get back on Jericho, I feel like he's selfish. Like, how do you expect people to boo you and cheer the face when you have a better sounding song than that face? What if Hulk Hogan kept his real American theme song when he was a heel? Do you think he would have gotten over as a heel if he would have kept that theme song? No. That theme song has too much nostalgia as a face, so you can't keep it. That's when, remember when uh, Stone Cold changed his theme song? Remember? It was still the glass shattering, but he changed it because he was a heel. I think they gave Stone Cold a song by Disturbed. I think that was his new theme song, and the reason he did that was so the crowd couldn't cheer him so he changed his whole theme song right that was very very smart it's like bro if you want to get over change your theme song that the fans fell in love with that's the point do not be one of those guys where you all theme song where it's like you want to cling on to that theme song for your whole career because you because you like being liked by the fans no you are a heel act like it that's why i love max theme song his theme song is so plain and generic it just works as a heel you want to see max get his ass well because of that boring ass theme song i feel like that's great your theme song is very important as a face and as a heel now do i think daniel bryan was all theme song nope he proved it when he was a heel when he was the evil vegan he still kept his theme song, but he made sure to tell the crowd that the yes movement is dead. That's why the crowd stopped saying yes, because he told them not to say yes, because he was trying to get over his heel character without that theme song. So he kept it because that was the challenge. Okay, I need to make the people hate me. 
So I have to tell them that stop saying yes. The yes movement is dead and it's your fault. That's when they stop saying yes. If you are a hill and the crowd is saying your goddamn thing song, bro, just turn face. Seriously, just turn face. Stop being selfish. Like, bro, why does everybody want to be a cool heel? There's no such thing as a cool heel. You are, you are in disguise as a face. Jericho is a face who wants to be loved. Let's just be real. Jericho ain't no damn heel. He just wants to be a cool face like The Rock. But bro, that don't work. Bro, there's no such thing as a cool face or a cool heel. It's like, bro, it's either you are a heel or a face. The Rock couldn't do both. The Rock tried. The Rock tried to be a cool heel, but nah, the crowd loves him. Remember, you can't turn the Rock heel. The Rock tried. Remember when he was um the Hollywood Rock, bro? He couldn't turn heel. The crowd loved him. So they had no choice but to turn him back to a face. That's what I mean when it comes to don't have your song be bigger than you. Be bigger than your song. The Rock was always bigger than his theme songs. That's what I mean by you are over or you are not over. Now, when it comes to The Miz, The Miz is not all theme song. In fact, I was never a huge fan of his theme song. And I feel like that actually works for his heel character. The fact that his song is not the most likable to me. But that's what makes him great. Don't make your theme song overshadow your character. Now, during the 90s, was I a fan of Ric Flair? Not really. Based on his theme song. Like, bro, I was never a huge fan of his theme song. But I feel like that was the point of him being a heel. See what I'm saying? You can't have your theme song sound too great. For example, Rick Rude. You either have to have a song that's fearful for the audience or it has to be annoying. When it came to Rick Rude, I feel like his songs were annoying, but that was the point as a heel. Like his songs were so obnoxious, that's the point. I feel like the Miz song is very obnoxious. I feel like Rick Rude's songs were very obnoxious for his character. It's like, damn, bro, people love being loved by the fans. Same as Adam Coleslaw. I'm like, bro, Adam Coleslaw was never a good heel to me because of that theme song. Like, bro, how are you a great heel when the whole building is saying Adam Cole, baby, like, like you are a face? It's like you you are not doing your opponent any favors. Clearly, you were more you are more popular than your opponent. Okay, turned face by that logic. I, I don't, bro. I did not grow up with that. I did not grow up with that. Where you are a heel, but people love your theme song. When it came to Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels' song was never for him to be a face. A lot of people don't know that. His boy toy song, that's a heel song, right? But was Shawn Michaels all theme song? Nope. And here's why. His boy toy song was always meant to be a heel song to trigger people for more heat because that song is very obnoxious. Dude, Shawn Michaels' boy toy song was always meant to be a heel song to get heat. But they turned him face and the crowd loved that song. They were cheering him. What that means is he was always over. He built that character without that theme song. That means his theme song didn't overshadow him. That means he made that theme song. That theme song didn't make him. Because if that theme song was always meant to be to be a heel song, but years later they turned the face, but he still kept that song and the crowd still loved him, that means that song didn't make him. That means he's more over than that song. That means 
They don't care. They just want to see Sean. They don't care what song he has. They just like seeing him. That's what I mean by are you over or you are not over. It's either you make your song or the song makes you. Baron Corbin, I'm sorry, I love him, but his song made him. He didn't make the song. Shawn Michaels' Boy Toy, Shawn Michaels made that song popular. That song didn't make him popular because people kept cheering him, whether as a face or as a heel. That's what made Shawn Michaels great. That means he was more than a theme song. That dog. Adam Coleslaw is not Shawn Michaels. He never was. Because when Shawn Michaels had that boy toy theme song, he was being booed. Now do you get it? When Shawn Michaels had that boy toy theme song in his first year as a heel, people did not like this man. He was a hated heel. Now, let's compare that with Adam Coleslaw He's a heel, but why are people singing his song and singing Bebe? Right? What the hell is the difference? That means, bro, you ain't that good as a heel. That means you are all theme song, bro. Your character does not overshadow your great theme song. That's a bad thing. When it comes to The Rock, people was booing The Rock with multiple theme songs. But eventually, they started cheering the rock. Now, do I think John Cena is all theme song and not character? Nope. Duh, it don't matter what song John has. The crowd is going to boo him or cheer him. It don't matter what song he has because he's not all theme song. But I did hear that John said that there was a point in time where he was going to be a heel. And he said that he was close to getting a new theme song because of a heel turn but that means he's very very smart i feel like that would have been smart to change your theme song because i feel like that song sounds too face like i feel like dr of economics theme song that was a heel theme song to me but you can actually flip some face and still keep that theme song based on the fact that John was our character. That song did not make John Cena. John Cena made that song hot. That song didn't make him hot. See what I'm saying? People lose sight of theme songs. Like I said, bro, just because the building is singing along to your theme song, that don't mean you're over. That could mean the opposite. You see, Darby Allen, he is special. He's not all theme song, bro. In fact, it don't matter if Darby Allen had a damn rap song, okay? People will still cheer Darby Allen because he's over. He's all character. He made his theme song. His theme song did not make his character. That's what makes a wrestler over. Don't make your theme song be your whole career. Don't be the reason why, okay, your theme song is the only reason people find you attractive. It's like, nah, bruh. Don't be in that category. Don't be Adam Coleslaw. He fell into that trap. See, when you cling on to a boring character, but you have a hot theme song, bro, you are setting yourself up for disaster. As of right now, bro, nobody cares about Adam Coleslaw. He's all theme song. Seriously, it's like, yeah, he talks well, but do you remember any great Adam Coleslaw promos compared to Max? No, Max is a better talker than Adam Coleslaw. Yeah, Adam Coleslaw, he talks well, but does he have any pipe bombs? Um, What is he known for, for his promos? No, no. His most famous promo was against Karrion Cross. Let that sink in, in a different company. Now, this is how I always felt. I always felt like a real heel will get booed no matter what song he has. And a real face will be cheered no matter what song they have. 
So I'm telling you, songs do expose you. As a guy that you are all theme song or you made your theme song popular based on your character work. I would say Brock Lesnar is a prime example of he's all character, not all theme song, bruh. His theme song is kind of plain and generic. So by that logic, Brock Lesnar made that song popular. What if Brock was a jobber? Would you care about that song? Nope. Brock is great. Brock is a great character. He's a great attraction. He's a prize fighter. So his character makes that song sound more cooler based on how the way he's presented on television. He's a prize fighter. He's a beast. He's a monster. Based on his character, he makes that song sound popping. He makes that song sound great. Same as Bobby Lashley. It don't matter what song you give Lashley. He will get that song over. That song will not get him over. He will get that song over based on his character and how the way he looks. Like, like I said, man, your song is not supposed to make you. You got to make the song pop based on how well you are presented on television. That's it. I'm done.